In this video, I'm going to share with you all 10 print-on-demand sites that I'm using currently. Let's go! Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juno with Detour Shirts. I've been designing and selling t-shirts online since 2005 and I've been on a lot of print-on-demand sites and currently I'm on 10 of them and I wanted to share with you all 10 that I'm on. I'm going to share with you how many sales I made in February for each of these. It may surprise you that not all of these are doing really well, especially for me. Some of these may do well for you and some of these may do well for me. And that's why I wanted to share it with you because I'm not doing well on everything and I wanted to kind of be transparent on that. And I wanted to share with you the different sites that you could do. Some of them might actually work better for you than it works for me and that's fine. They may be a better fit for you for your style and what you're doing. So that's totally cool. I'm gonna start with the print on demand sites that do the worst for me and then end with the ones that do the best for me. So we're gonna go in reverse order and then I'll show you all 10 together and kind of put it together. So I wanted to do this not to brag, but to show you that I'm not doing great on everything. It's just a few things that I'm doing well on and you'll see it in this video. So, so let's take a look at number 10 right now. So the worst print on demand site for me, I'm not saying it's the worst print on demand site, but for me personally, the one that's bringing in the least amount of sales is Teespring. So teespring.com, uh, I know a lot of people use it and make some money on it. For me, it's not working. Um, and mainly because on my site, this is my Detour shirt site on Teespring, I only have like 18 designs. So um, I say this all the time for people who are on Redbubble, if you only have like 20 designs, you're not gonna make any sales. And that's true for um, Teespring as well. And Teespring's a little harder. You have to get some sales to actually be on their marketplace. So you have to drive traffic. And I'm not driving traffic at all to Teespring, uh, which is no wonder I'm not getting any sales. And when I say no sales, I mean zero sales for February, 2028. This is the analytics for Teespring and you can see zero sales. And the only place that you can actually get my Teespring sales, I don't send out anything, but it's below my YouTube channel. So not a lot of people click on merch on the YouTube channel, and which is why I'm not getting a lot of sales. So for me, um, this is the lowest one for me. I could probably pump it up and if I spent some time and put a hundred designs on here, I, I may get some sales. But for right now, I, I don't wanna do that because I'm busy doing other things besides uploading to Teespring. So this one right now, this is my number 10 and that is Teespring. Pod shop number nine for me is Spreadshirt, spreadshirt.com you can see here. I actually uploaded to Spreadshirt a long time ago when I first started out back in 2005 through 2007, I was uploading to Spreadshirt as well, but I haven't uploaded to Spreadshirt in a long, long time. So I just kind of let it ride. Uh, if you see here, I actually, my next payout is a negative. I don't have any sales in the last 30 days, but if I go to like 2001, I have made sales before. So this is a little better than Teespring because I have made sales in the past, just not in February. So I haven't made any in February. And you can see um, I have about 168 designs on here, but again, I've uh, uploaded those 168 designs a long, long time ago. Like I think the last time I uploaded was before 2010. So these, this shop has just been riding and has been paying very passively, but uh, not doing really well for me currently. So my pod shop number eight that I have designs on is Society6. So you can go to society6.com um, and you can see really cool stuff here. I have a shop here, but I only have three designs. So I put my Corgi eating ramen here and some other designs. I only have three designs on here, but I did get a sale in February. So you can see right here. So I haven't added a lot of designs on here, obviously. And the last time I added that was in the beginning. So this, this one is totally passive income. I really need to add more designs here, but just with the lack of time, I haven't added more. But, but this one I'm ranking as number eight because I actually got a sale for this in February and with only three designs up. So um, this could be a good one if I put more time into it. So print on demand shop number seven for me is Design by Human. So you can see designbyhumans.com. This is my shop on Design by Humans. You can see right there. I put a bunch on here. I haven't added to this one in a long time as well. So I'm kind of letting this one ride. I have a hundred designs on here by Design by Humans. And in February, 
I got zero sales um, as well, but I have made a lot of sales in the past for this and that's why it's ranking higher for me. So you can see if I did this for the full year, I, I've had a lot more sales on this than Society6 and some of the other ones that we showed before. So this is why I made this number seven. I do get sales uh, sometimes, but in February I didn't make any sales. So print on demand shop number six, at least for me, is Zazzle right here, Zazzle.com. I'm on Zazzle. This is one of the shops that I started back when I did Cafe Press back in 2005. So I haven't added a lot of designs to it lately. In fact, this is one of those that I just let it ride and totally getting passive income on it. You can see my shop here uh, on Zazzle, Detour Shirts. I've added a few things, but I haven't added to this in a long, long time. In fact, I can't remember the last time I've added to Zazzle. And it shows because I've only got six sales in February from Zazzle. And I have about 867 designs on Zazzle. Again, I added a bulk of those, probably all of those, back in 2005 to 2010. And I haven't added to it a lot lately. So six sales passively. Um, not great, but it's nice that there's still some sales coming in at all. So print on demand shop number five for me, the fifth best shop for me is Threadless. So Threadless is doing really well for me, uh, pretty well for me, I would say really well for me. But uh, what I do is the Threadless Artist Shop. So you can go here, threadless.com slash artist shops. I already have one, you can see right here. Uh, if you do Threadless, I think this is a great way to do it. And if you're lucky enough, you can get one of your stuff in store. So that's how I got this Corgi design right here uh, into Box Lunch at the mall was through Threadless. So pretty cool uh, if you want to do that. This is my artist shop right here. You can see I have a bunch of stuff. I have about 89 different designs on Threadless and still growing. Uh, the last time I added to Threadless was probably a couple months ago. I'm trying to get more and more on there. I've made 16 sales in February with Threadless, so not too bad. I mean, not, it's not the best thing, but 16 sales is still 16 sales. So this is my number five for print on demand, and that is Threadless Artist Shops. My print on demand shop number four for me right now is Cafe Press. Now, Cafe Press was my number one selling shop before Merch by Amazon. This is the one I started in 2005 and I did so much work on it. I added actually over 2,000 designs. So there's like 2,164 designs on Cafe Press, but I haven't uploaded to Cafe Press in a long, long time as well. And I only got about 17 sales in February from Cafe Press. Totally passive. I haven't been on it at all. Um, these are, they don't actually have a site, um, shop site. You have to make your own shop site with a URL. Uh, most of my sales come from the marketplace, but here are a couple of my shops that I had before. This one was called Detour Designables, before Detour Shirts and this old Detour Shirts logo, which I haven't changed here. Um, I sold on DetourDesignables.com, as well as TVTs and some other places where there were a lot of TV shows like Lost and Fringe and things that you could do with Cafe Press. So I made a whole bunch of TV shirts that were um, okay to do on Cafe Press because they had the rights to it. And so I did, did these too. So um, Cafe Press still is something that comes in. It's not nearly, uh, it's only my number four site right now. So it's, it's not nearly as much as it used to bring in. And that's because I haven't been adding to it. So all these print on demand sites, this is what happens if you just let it go. You can make passive income, but slowly and slowly it's going to start um, going down and down. I used to make uh, hundreds of sales on Cafe Press a month and now I'm only making 16. So my third best, going into the top three now, my third best print on demand site for me is Redbubble. So Redbubble, um, you've seen my designs before, my shop, this is my shop on Redbubble. I only have about 1,016 designs. So you can see right there, I haven't added much lately. In fact, uh, since I've been pushing really hard on YouTube, I haven't added much to Redbubble lately uh, and it shows. So I only got 100 sales, 103 sales uh, in February from Redbubble. I bet a lot of you have probably have more than that. So you can see it. I'm not doing that great on Redbubble. It is my number three, but uh, my number one is really big. So I'll, I'll share that later. But um, Redbubble 
is pretty good uh, throughout the year. Like most print on demand sites, I make a lot more uh, in Q4 than I do the rest of the year. So I like having Redbubble here. Again, I probably would make more if I studied Redbubble and added more designs geared towards Redbubble to get more sales. So my print on demand site number two, the one that brings me the second most is T Public. So T Public right here. Um, you can go tpublic.com. It's a lot like Redbubble. In fact, Redbubble bought T Public, and so they're, they're both owned by the same company now. Uh, and I do pretty well on T Public. Here I only have 674 designs, but they're doing a little bit better than Redbubble is. I think I match the audience better at T Public than I do on Redbubble because Redbubble kind of is geared more toward artsy kind of stuff. And a lot of my stuff is more Merch by Amazon kind of designs, which I think fit better at T Public. So if you're doing really well on Merch by Amazon, I think you could do really well on T Public as well. I sold about 120 designs in February for T Public, so just a little bit more than I did for Redbubble in February. And typically, it does just a little bit better there. They're kind of neck and neck, but I put T Public at number two just because it has less designs and it um, is still making more sales. So not surprising, you probably guessed this already. My number one print-on-demand shop for me is Merch by Amazon. So Merch by Amazon is on Amazon, the biggest shopping website in the United States and probably a lot of other places. But uh, you can see here, this is a great place to be on. If you're not on Merch by Amazon, uh, I would suggest to try and get on there. You, you may take multiple times to get on there. I've been on Merch by Amazon since 2017 and this is where most of my focus, if not all my focus for print on demand is at right now. And that's just because it's a monster. You can make so much money on here um, and so many sales. So this is my Merch by Amazon page. You can see amazon.com slash these tour shirts. I have a actual page on here. When you're in a high enough tier and you can do Amazon advertising, they'll give you a link to do your own site with your own name right here. And so I have that. But you could also check on Amazon if you clicked on my sites, um, my detour shirt stuff, you can see them right here as well. This is my Merch by Amazon dashboard page. And you can see uh, I have over 10,000 live designs right here. And I've sold over 1,912 designs. Uh, in February. So this was last month in February. So by far, not even close, even if you added up all of the ones before it from 10 to 2, it doesn't even come close to, to Merch by Amazon. And so this is why I put a lot, all my focus on Merch by Amazon because those this can bring in a lot more. So that's my number one uh, print on demand sites. I'll show you again what all 10 are right here. So here's a list of all 10 that I shared today in my video. You can see uh, this February is a hard month to sell. So these are not a typical month. It's probably one of the slower months during the year, but you can see I don't always do the best on all of these. Uh, it's nice to put it on all of these if you have the time. I think you can see uh, if these had more designs, they probably would sell more. So you can see kind of the ratio that this one I'm putting a lot of time into. And of course, that's making a lot of time but it's also one of the best sites to sell on because of organic traffic. So you gotta think about that. Does it match what you're doing? Uh, can you put a lot of designs on it? And you can see, um, you can still make some money passively like Cafe Press and Zazzle, which I did a long time ago and I haven't been adding to it. And you can still get some sales passively, but they are gonna start dropping off um, and not make you sales. So. So if you do have limited time, you have to pick, you know, your top three and figure out what those are and kind of more push towards those and maybe let the other ones slide just for a little bit. So that's my plan anyway. So that is it for this video. Hopefully this video is really helpful for you to show you like all the different kinds of print on demand sites that you could do. Uh, I would check all of them out, see which ones are best for you. Just because I'm not doing well on some of them doesn't mean that you can't do well on them. Maybe your design style is a little bit different uh, and you can figure it out. Um, a lot of people do well on Redbubble and not do well on TeePublic and vice versa. Or don't do well on Merch by Amazon, but do really well on Redbubble and, and things like that. So you gotta find which one works for you. And then what I would suggest and what I'm doing is push all your energy on the ones that are doing the best for you and kind of let the other ones slide just a little bit less. So that's working for me. Anyway, if this video was really helpful for you, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to this channel already, make sure to hit that subscribe button right there. 
Uh, the question of the day for this video is, are there any other print on demand sites that you're using? Let me know that in the comments and which ones are doing the best for you. Maybe um, Merch by Amazon is not doing the best for you. Maybe Redbubble or TeePublic is doing the best for you. Leave that in the comments as well. Thanks so much for watching again. And if you wanna see more videos on print on demand sites, make sure to click on these right here. And as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.